your metabolism is slowing down, and it's the reason you're feeling tired, storing fat, and struggling to see results, no matter how hard you push yourself. But here's the good news. You can take back control of your metabolism and turn your body into a fat-burning machine without weird supplements or fitness routines. In this video, I'm breaking down how you can naturally ignite your metabolism, starting today. Let's cut through the nonsense and get you results. But first, what is the metabolism? Your metabolism is like an engine that powers your body. It's how you convert food into the energy that keeps you alive. And your basal metabolic rate is the number of calories your body burns just to stay functional. When your metabolism slows down, your body burns fewer calories and losing weight becomes an uphill battle. Plus, you feel more sluggish, irritable, depressed, tired, and have brain fog. Now, here's how to solve that. First, increase your protein intake. Protein requires more energy to digest compared to carbs and fats and plays a critical role in maintaining muscle mass. When you cut calories to lose fat, you may also lose muscle mass if you're not weight training. That, combined with the shock your body gets, slows down your metabolism. In fact, studies show that a high-protein diet can reduce the metabolic slowdown by 33-42%. to 42%. To really maximize the effect, pair your protein with fiber-rich vegetables like spinach, broccoli, or kale to slow digestion and keep you full for longer. This combination will also stabilize your blood sugar levels, preventing insulin spikes that can store fat. Another interesting study shows that a high-protein, low-fat diet can double the net increase in energy expenditure following a meal. Basically, you burn calories twice as fast. So, try having protein plus fiber-rich meals instead of carbs and fats. Strength training is also a great way to increase your metabolism naturally. Muscle tissue burns more calories than fat, even when you're resting. So, the more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns throughout the day. I advise you to focus on compound movements, meaning exercises that work multiple muscle groups at once, like squats, deadlifts, and push-ups. These exercises maximize calorie burn during and after your workout. If you're doing supersets, you can also trigger the afterburn effect because you're creating a bigger oxygen debt. Aim to incorporate strength training three to four times a week for maximum results. But don't just rely on workouts. What do you do the rest of the day matters just as much. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis is the energy you expend doing everyday activities like walking, cleaning, or even standing. These small movements can add up and significantly increase your daily calorie burn. Besides, research shows that taking active breaks during the workday decreases your blood insulin levels. That's great because high insulin promotes fat storage and reduces fat breakdown. Basically, in this scenario, your body prioritizes storing energy as fat instead of burning it, leading to slower metabolic function and weight gain. But with less insulin, your metabolism can finally work faster. Number four on our list to accelerate your metabolism is focusing on the right drinks. First, you need enough water because even mild dehydration can slow down your metabolic rate. The reason is that your body struggles to process calories efficiently when it's not fully hydrated. Drinking cold water can be even better because your body uses energy to heat the water to your core temperature. Green tea is also known for its metabolism-boosting properties. This tea contains antioxidants that increase fat burning and enhance your metabolic rate. Studies show that drinking green tea regularly can boost your metabolism by 3 to 8 percent. If you want to take it up a notch, go for matcha. Matcha is concentrated green tea powder that packs an even bigger antioxidant punch. Caffeine has also been shown to increase your resting metabolic rate by up to 11 percent. Coffee stimulates your central nervous system, making you feel more alert and giving your metabolism a temporary spike. Just be mindful of added sugars and creamers, and don't drink too much coffee. Stick to black coffee or add a splash of milk to keep it healthy. At number 5, we have sleep. I mean, hopefully, you get to have enough sleep. When you don't, your body's ability to process and regulate energy becomes impaired. Studies show that sleep deprivation can significantly slow down your metabolism and increase hunger hormones like ghrelin. In contrast, getting a solid 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep every night helps regulate your body's hormones, keeps your metabolism functioning properly, and improves insulin sensitivity, which helps your body better manage blood sugar levels. Poor sleep is also linked to higher cortisol levels, which slow down your metabolism 
and cause fat storage, especially around your midsection. Next, spice up your meals. Certain spices are proven to naturally increase your metabolic rate. One of the most powerful is chili pepper, thanks to its active compound that boosts your body's thermogenesis, which means you burn more calories after eating. Other metabolism-boosting spices include ginger and turmeric. Ginger improves digestion and has anti-inflammatory properties that keep your body functioning optimally, while turmeric helps reduce inflammation, which can negatively impact your metabolic health. Cinnamon also works well. One study on Asian Indians shows that 3 grams of cinnamon for 16 weeks can reduce the effects of metabolic syndrome by up to 34.5%. The seventh and last strategy I want to discuss is Metcon workouts. Metabolic conditioning workouts are high intensity and push your body to burn calories during and long after you've finished. Metcon exercises combine strength training with cardio in short, intense bursts that maximize calorie burn and increase your body's efficiency at using oxygen. This keeps your metabolism elevated for hours post-workout, a phenomenon called the afterburn effect. Exercises like burpees, kettlebell swings, or box jumps paired with minimal rest periods are key to Metcon. They work multiple muscle groups and keep your heart rate high, so you can burn more fat in less time. So, that's it from me. Now, I want to hear from you. Which strategy are you going to start with? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, press that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fitness and health tips. Every little interaction helps small creators like me, so I genuinely appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the comments section.